Hi, my name is Shu Washido from Lindex Nikon. If you're in the market for a shrink fit unit, here's a couple things you should know about our shrink fit unit. Our shrink fit units can run on either 220 volt or 480 volt. Based on what you have, you can select the one that suits your shop. For both the 220 volt and the 480 volt, we use three phase and 32 amps generating 14 kilowatts at the heating head. To better understand some of these numbers, let's think about how electricity works. Electricity is the flow of electrons. You can compare it to the water flowing through a pipe. Imagine your device is a 10 millimeter pipe connected to a 32 millimeter pipe. Now the water starts flowing. The 32 millimeter pipe can deliver, let's say 32 liters of water per minute, but the 10 millimeter pipe is connected to it so it can only squeeze 10 liters of water. The 32 liter capacity is available, but your device can only consume 10 liters. This is how amps work. There are three reasons we chose three phase instead of single phase. One, the consistency. There's no peaks and dips like in single phase. Two, ability to run higher power efficiently. Three, the cost and safety. Last but not least is the 14 kilowatt. In our machine, we have a filter card that allows us to boost our output without the use of a transformer. 14 kilowatt is almost 10 times that of a microwave. Using that much power, the heating head can heat up to an inch and a half diameter tool holder in under seven seconds. It allows for our shrink fit unit to shrink carbide, high-speed steel, and carbon steel. There are three key features to our shrink fit machine. First is the auto detection. Second, the ability to remove broken tools. And third, the split ring. Let's go over the first one. The auto detection allows for a tool holder you use to get the proper amount of heat for the proper amount of time so the longevity of the tool increases. Often when people use manual control, they overcook the tool and the tool holder loses its elasticity over the course of time and the shrink fit tool no longer works properly and customers have to buy new ones. By having this auto detect function, customers can just keep using the same tool for a longer period of time. Now let's talk about removing a broken tool. Here I have a Cat40 shrink fit tool holder with a half inch tool broken inside of it. The tool is broken so deep into the holder that normally heating to taking it out is impossible. But with our unit, this is an issue, and I'll explain why. So like I said, I have a Cat40 shrink fit tool holder with a half inch tool. And as you saw earlier, the tool is way too deep in there to be extracted in a normal fashion. But with our shrink fit unit, there's no issue. And that's because it can do this. The heat inductor can rotate 180 degrees, allowing for something like this to be fixed. Let me show you how. First, we put a rag where the pot would normally go. The reason we do this is because I'm gonna turn this head 180 degrees and the tool is gonna to fall down. So, like I just said, turn this 180 degrees, like so, then put the holder in like so, and then heat. And there you go. The third and final key feature point is a split ring. A split ring is a heat induction ring that's cut in half. By cutting in half, we can use a lollipop cutter. A lollipop cutter has the bigger head as a lollipop and the stick part, which is a shank. By having a heat induction ring like this, when a normal induction ring won't fit because of the lollipop part being too big, by using a splitter, you can put it on two sides and the tool will be shrunk properly. So I'm gonna be using this Cat40 shrink fit tool holder with a lollipop to show how important a split ring is. So I'm gonna insert the tool here, but first we're gonna use a regular heat induction ring and show how the lollipop interferes with a normal heat induction ring. So if I turn it and start lowering it, you hear the heat induction ring making contact with the lollipop because the diameter was too big. Now let's raise this up and remove this heat induction ring so I can show you how to use a split ring. So before I put the split ring in, I wanna lower the heater down 
past the head of the lollipop first, and then one half at a time, put it around the lollipop head like so, and then turn it to secure it. By doing this, you avoid making contact with the lollipop, and then you can lower the head enough so the shrink fit tool holder itself can be heated properly. And if I want to undo this, I would just turn it counterclockwise, take one half out at a time, and there you go. In addition to the three benefits previously discussed, you can apply an additional foot pedal. The foot pedal is attached to the back of the unit using a four pin connector. By using this, your two hands are free to handle a heated tool. Let's do a demonstration. In this demo, we will be using a Cat50 shrink fit tool holder. You insert this into the pot as you would normally, even when you're using a controller. You use two hands to lower it. Normally, you would hold the controller in one hand and a cutting tool in one hand, but with the foot pedal, you put your foot, and there's a safety in here. Make sure you're hitting the safety as you're doing it. Put the tool in, and you notice the controller, the orange light turns on, indicating the heating started. And once that's done, lift it. And there you go. Two hands free, very easy to use. Not a hassle. If you run into any issues, it may be because something went wrong with the motherboard. The motherboard is located here in the bottom compartment. To remove it, it is simple as removing these two screws right here and pulling it out. You can contact our service team and we can ship it to you overnight and you can ship us your unit for inspection by our service team. That way, your downtime will be very minimal and it will keep your shop running. For people looking for a more robust shrink fit solution, consider our FI6 system. Our FI6 system comes with one heating and two cooling heads in one big tower. By having a movable pot, you no longer have to touch a heated tool to move it from heating to cooling. For more information regarding the FI6, please click on the link below in the description section.